Hello there, it's Wayne Robson here. Now I know you've all been sitting uh, and thinking, you know, I want all these textures for this model. And yeah, there's workarounds, but wouldn't it be great to have them all in a PSD? That's the purpose of this one. Um, I've been sitting at night, uh, Dave Cardwell and myself on Skype, uh, trying to find a way to do this. Um, and we found so far ways to do it in Photoshop CS2 and CS4 straight out of the box. We can't test it on CS3, but the information that I've researched, uh, it should be exactly the same. Okay. So let me just uh, change over to Photoshop. Right. This is very simple. Okay, it's basically a one-stop shop. Go to Automate on your file menu, go to Photo Merge. Now I'm going to go and get a folder, folder images that I have prepared under the name Test here. Alright, and there it is. This is going to create something that will look wrong. We're then going to do something that will make it right. Once we've done this, we move straight on to CS4, and there's a much easier way. Once you've got that, press OK. It'll merge all these and make a right old mess. That doesn't really look very nice. It's not a PSD, is it? OK, here's what you do. Undo clear history. If you look there, step backwards is Alt, Control, and Z. So I'll just keep pressing Control, Alt, and Z. And there you go, delete the bottom layer, and deselect everything, and there we've got the specular base, the colour map, I mean occlusion pass, pause pass, cavity pass, and some highlights, and there's the base texture. Save it out as a PSD, do what you like, maybe you want to take the specular base over the top of this, maybe do auto levels on it, or to get your levels up like that, even them out a bit. And use this to darken parts of your map like that. Whatever you want. Simple as that. Let's move on to CS4. It gets even easier from here on in. We're now on CS4. This is the demo. Um, this is even easier. Go to scripts this time. Load files into stack. Browse the folder again. Go down to test. Like that. Press OK. And wait. Simple as that. There you go. It goes through all the layers. And there you go. Base layer. It's a highlight layer. It's pause layer. It's more pause. The cavities. And there you go. There's a the specular. Simple as that. Do what you like with it then. Save that as a PSD. Now I hope that workaround's okay for you. Um, so if you're in CS4, great. One touch and it's done. If you're in CS2, it's a minor workaround, but uh, nothing more than you'll be used to doing in a million other things in Photoshop. So there you go. You can get all your layers without having to copy and paste and drag them all onto each other. Hopefully that helps. I'm Wayne Robson. Bye bye.